welcome back to my channel it's mary z thanks to all the subscribers i'm really grateful now today i want to share just a few points on our health and well-being i'm really keen in talking about lifestyles so today i'm talking about i'm going to talk about a, a mineral called potassium we take potassium uh, in our foods and we do it sometimes subconscious, subconsciously without knowing. And when we go shopping, we bring out fruits and vegetables and uh, we just, you know, consume, the, consume them without really knowing what, which minerals we are taking. Of course, our bodies need potassium. That's why I'm very much keen to talk about potassium. Potassium is very important because it helps with muscle function of our bodies. It helps with the heart, you know, the heartbeat, how the, our heart pumps blood, you know. So it helps in that. It also helps in the function of our muscles. You know, we have muscles all over our bodies. So potassium does that job. But of course, it has its own levels. And, you know, when we just take the normal diet, we happen to have the normal uh, potassium levels. So today I've been to the supermarket uh, where I was just, you know, just keen to buy some fruits and vegetables with, uh, with potassium, which give us potassium. So we know that there are various fruits like apricots avocado pears apples oranges all those fruits you know they give us potassium uh, we have spinach bananas tomatoes broccoli cucumbers oh just to name a few carrots and and the potatoes sweet potatoes and the irish potatoes so let me show you what I brought with me from the supermarket. I uh, just went out briefly. So I have this one. It is a source of protein. You know, it looks like spinach. And it's called a uh, pak choy. So it says crisp, crisp with a delicate flavor. So this one is called pak choy. You just fry it for three to four minutes and it's done. It is a lovely vegetable, pak choy. So it has potassium. So my mission today is just to talk about foods with potassium and we eat them subconsciously sometimes. But some people do mind what they eat. They will, you know, say, oh, I need to boost my potassium. Then they eat these foods. So this is potassium. This is pak choy with potassium. Okay, let me see the other food I bought. Oh, I bought these. These are um, avocado pears. I love them. You can use them in your salads. They're also very rich in potassium, you know. So my trip was to, to the supermarket was just fruitful. Ooh, it was a fruitful trip. I bought some avocado pears as well. I'll use them in salads, you know. So the avocado pears, very good. Uh, to provide in providing potassium and then the next one i bought oh what are these now look at this these are very much common we all know them and they are believed to be rich in potassium but you know i've just been reading around uh, what they say about bananas it's not that you can eat one banana and the potassium is enough. So you need to supplement with other fr other fruits and vegetables. So bananas known to be rich in potassium and always, uh, you know, um, help them with other products. Because one banana is not enough to give you enough potassium. Although we cannot you know like every day know our levels of potassium but just using you know the idea of having a normal diet then you then be able to have your required levels of potassium remember very good potassium is very good for nerve function muscle function and the function of our heart you know the beating of the heart is controlled by these you know uh, minerals and, and electrolytes you know so potassium very good 
that's why i bought these bananas because what i knew was only the bananas rich in potassium but after reading around you know i now have an idea of other fruits and vegetables which are re uh, really rich in potassium so let's see the next one i bought wow look at this i bought this fruit it is called a uh, gallia melon so melons are rich in potassium this particular one gallia melon is rich in potassium and this particular one is grown in brazil so remember when you have it when you go on your trip to the supermarket you can look for the gallia um melon and you can you know just enjoy it and uh, you eat at the same time you'll be gaining some potassium so gallia melon very good you know source of potassium and let me see what else is in here wow look at this i love these ones these ones are called pomegranates uh, they are believed to be very high in potassium so if you consume a uh, pomegranate juice or the fruit itself you gain some potassium uh, usually the dietitians recommend maybe just half a cup of the fruits if they if, if they're in seed form if you are taking it as a fruit as it is you can just have just half a cup a day so pomegranate according to my shopping today they are the highest according to this you know these which i have here the pomegranates have the highest source of potassium so they are very easy to prepare you just you know you just wash them peel them and in there you get some seeds which you can then wash again and then consume so these particular ones they are from spain oh that's wonderful so i love pomegranates and i love the pomegranate juice and um, i'm happy that i managed to find them and to buy them so i hope you have you know gained some some knowledge you know because my videos all are about lifestyle and you know general health cooking and you know the general lifestyle even i can even bring a video on how to maybe to to operate a a a, a, a blender or how to operate or how to drive a car i can even do that because it's all about lifestyle so i hope you have really enjoyed this video remember we need potassium in our bodies to function and the various fruits provide potassium and my number one today is pomegranate so please do share the video subscribe and comment and uh, i'll be bringing more and more videos thanks everybody for watching my list of foods with potassium